Here's the fish my fossil dealer forgot to send me with my next, my last four box batch. Um, this is a, what is this? Uh, Echnodercetus, something like that. It's a needlefish, a uh, common name for it. Uh, in pieces, but uh, excellent tail, excellent head, just uh, excellent preservation. Uh, I mean, it's dirty, it needs to be washed up and things, but uh, I'm going to glue these two pieces together. I'm going to glue these two pieces together, let that cure, and then the next day I'll glue these two onto that one, and I'll glue this onto that one, and then I'll clean it up, uh, mark it up, cut it the way I want it, and uh, hopefully there's some more snout underneath there. I think there is. Um, but it looks like an excellent, I mean excellent fish. I love these fish. Um, I know they're kind of common, but not in this shape. This is excellent, and I mean excellent. It's the only reason I bought it. Paid a freaking fortune for this. Alrighty then. Well, that project is gluing up in its first stage. I thought I'd show you a little teaser of some stuff I'm working on. Um, some rather large stuff here. Here's, uh, if you can see that tail end of a guitar fish, a type of ray I believe. Um, that goes from here all the way to here and this is the other side of it. Both sides were in many many pieces. I can't tell you how many how many cracks I had to fill and fix and repair for all that. On top of that is this fish. Uh, the species he told me it was, I, I guarantee you it is not, but it was in bad shape, so I'm working on that. I'm waiting for some powder. I just got it in the mail today to fix, to color my two-part putty, to fix up this jaw and to redo this head bone, but a fairly large fish. And then over there, underneath the table saw, is another guitar fish, which looks to be it's, I think, with a little bit of air abrasive, or a lot of air abrasive, um, that should turn out absolutely freaking gorgeous. So, working on that one. And this one, let me turn some lights on here. I don't know if that's what, there we go. Um, a big double. I'm rebuilding rock here because this piece of rock was missing. I got to rebuild this rock. That's going to be an absolute freaking nightmare. There's a good sized fish right here, and there's a good sized fish right there. A lot of shrimp on the plate, um, and stuff like that. I've already filled the, uh, or first attempt at filling the space between the rock and the back of board with concrete patch. So, that's all some of the, some of the projects that I'm working on, so. Anyways, all these will be turned into uh, YouTube videos uh, as soon as I get them done. Um, that one over there, I've been working on for six months. This one, probably four months. Just off and on stuff. Uh, long ways to go. Day number two. Final glue up. That needs 24 hours to cure. That one needs 24 hours to cure. Now I can go on to the next step. And there you go. Two glue obsessions and uh, both cured for 24 hours. These are ready now to attack the next stage of this prep job. Um, as you can see here, this chunk of rock, which is higher than the rest, goes right here where it's missing rock. So I'm going to try to see if I can at least get a big chunk of that off and put it there to, to so it doesn't look so freaking bad. Anyways, uh, that's my next plan of attack, so I'll just show you right here, right now. I've already drawn a line here. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's the line I want to follow. And it either works or it doesn't. Um, the chisel tip on this air scribe, my largest air scribe. Here goes nothing.
Jesus! You saw it with your very own eyeballs. Well, I got a big chunk of it anyways. Show you how that fits over here. Turn that over. And that goes right there. So, I hate to mess up this rock, but I'm going to try to get a little bit more off. And the rest of this I'll fix with the two-part putty that I color. So... Okay, trying to take more off of this didn't work worth the cow poop. So I've only got this piece. I'll try to, I'll probably fake a piece here and then fill in the rest with some two-part putty. But oh when I saved this because it's the same color, it came off right here. And but as you can see, a uh, very uneven rock back here, so I'm gonna take these outside and grind these at least flat her. You can see there's just some terrible stuff on there. So I'll doll those up and then uh, I'll get my water saw ready to go. I'll trim one. I'll match that to this side. Uh, pencil line all the way around it and trim that one so they're exactly the same. Uh, like opening up a book. And that's the way it's gonna, they're going to hang on the, uh, on the wall. Might even frame them. I don't know. Anyways, to the grinding table. Take the glasses off, take the uh, dust mask off, ah, that's beautiful now. So that's ready for the next stage, but this piece broke off. So I gotta glue that back on and go on the attack again. So, stuff happens. So I glued this piece back on, then I thought, well heck, I could get rid of this, so I took my little diamond cutting saw and my Fordham, same thing as a Dremel, but just more industrial, uh, and cut that off. So, it's got to cure for 24 hours before I can do anything else. Then I'll grind this down and then I'll be ready for the next attack. I turned it over so I could look at my beautiful little Rin Rinco Dracetus uh, and thought why don't I glue this piece on um, it has a it will have the same 24 hour cure period as this piece right here that this clamp is holding um, two birds with one stone so to speak and then tomorrow I can start doing more stuff yeah that's the ticket all right this morning I went there and ground that off. That held in place, so that's nice and flat. That one's nice and flat. So now, I'm going to pick out which one I'm going to square up first, cut that, and then square the cut one with the one that's not cut, so that they're both exactly the same, have the same square in the same position. So, I'm going to square up this one. First, I gotta check something. I had to take that line down as low as I could possibly go and keep it square uh, to give that tail as much room as possible. So, now I gotta go cut that. Okay, all squared up. When I was cutting this side, this little piece came off, so I luckily I saw that, didn't go flying, I saved it. And uh, so now I'm going to take this rock, place it on top of this one, trace around it, and then go cut this one.
Almost ran out of room there. Oh well. That should do pretty good. Now to go cut it with my water tile saw. And there it is. Actually, that should be that way. Basically, mirror image. I might just frame that just like that. Anyways, uh, I got some prepping to do on this little snout. Got some rock to fix. Some cleanup. Not a whole lot, but uh, baby's almost done. There's still some uh, fish bill underneath here. How far it goes, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to take this fine tool and see what how I can expose. And a little bit of this tail is still covered, so I'm going to fix that up too. But I'm going to be right on top of the rock, so I won't be able to show you this. And this is <coughs> pretty loud, almost like being at the dentist. Okay, look at the very tip of that pencil. That has got to be the smallest fish I've ever worked on. It was there, so I exposed that tail, and I exposed the rest of the head, and maybe the rest of the gill plate there. I took that off. That bothered me. That spot's going to bother me no matter what I do. So... I'm going to have to try to hide that. But still, I think that looks better than that big mountain that was there. Have colored two-part epoxy that I colored myself with some tan buck powder. It's not perfect, but it's close as I can get it. And I'm going to uh, fix this crack. This is a big spot, but I'm going to fix this one. And uh, Add my, I don't know if you can see that or not, crunched up rock, which I call lead dust. That's why I never throw away rock. Well, I do, but anyways, uh, I'm going to fill this crack, and, or these two cracks. Show you what that looks like when I'm done. Okay. Did this one, looks like crap, always does that stage. I did part of this one. Uh, I've still got to play with this with, uh, I don't know, some pieces of rock or something, see if I can fix it up. But I tried something new today. I put in some two-part putty, smashed this piece in there where it broke off and I cut it. And I'll see if that holds uh, once it's cured. Anyways, I thought I'd try something a little different. It's always something, always something new to do. You never stop learning. Good morning everybody. Um, I went through my uh, rock box to look for rock to fill in this space as best as I can and then finish up with the crack filling and that spot will be done. But I went through all my rock pieces and you can plainly see there they're way different colors. So I found these pieces that are all about the same color as this rock and I thought well I'll shape this one to fit there and I'll shape this one to fit there. Uh, that's my plan anyways. Uh, a lot of back and forth work with the sander and whatnot, but uh, it'll look a lot better than that. I wish it was center rock, but uh, it's kind of got the shape I want, but it's way too thick, so I'm slowly but surely taking off uh, rock on the back and it's already pretty thin, but it's got to be quite a bit thinner Better work for one little piece of rock, but 
it's too small to hold on to the belt sander. <laughs> you just skin your fingers, sand them down to the bone. So I got to use this uh, diamond cutting uh, cutoff blade, which has got diamonds on the face of it, which is great for shaping. I don't know if anybody else does this, but these beautiful rock dust that comes off the rock from this thing makes excellent uh, lead dust for filling cracks and stuff. So, like I say, I don't really throw much of anything away. That's a lot of work for a little piece of rock. You can see how thin that's becoming. But, let's see, you get that over here, you can see it. That's pretty good. Now I gotta fit, uh oh, what piece was it? That one? Hmm, I guess so, geez, I don't know, well that'll work. Anyways, uh, now for the next piece. So this is going to be at least an hour of, of total work. And then i got to actually install these pieces. Uh, and then let that cure for 24 hours. This one is quite a bit trickier, but if you can see that or not, I'll put my glasses on, geez, so I can freaking see. Uh, that piece going to go right there, and I'm just trying to shape it so it goes down in, so it's flush with the, the original rock here. So, a bit more work to do still, but I'm getting there, even though it looks like crap. I mixed me up some two-part epoxy putty that I'm going to put right in the center of these places to, for body to kind of hold these things in, in place. Probably got too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Durr. And that's going to hold those things in place. Going to add some glue in certain spots. I don't know why they make these bottles so bloody stiff, Jesus. Boy, I hope that's not too much putty. All right, here goes nothing. Jeez, this, all that work for this nerve wracking stuff. Make sure those are level with the rock. Oh, Jesus. It's just what I was afraid of. Oh, come on, Jesus. Ah. Oh. Boy, that's nerve wracking. Got a little too much glue there, but that's the way it goes. Well, that's not perfect, but it's not bad. So once these cracks are all filled in, that shouldn't look too bad. It'll look better than that freaking Grand Canyon that was sitting there. 
Anyways, uh, that's going to cure. I'm not going to touch it for 24 hours at least. Hopefully I'll be out here again tomorrow. Anyways, over and out. There it is. Two pieces of rock that, do, that are different from this slab. Uh, put into place. Uh, glued and puttied. Uh, now they're cured. So I've got this putty already mixed and uh, colored. I'm going to fill the stuff. To the way I want it. And add a little lead dust. Well, after I wash it down, of course. Come on. Doesn't always cooperate, but do the best you can. Some glue there it's not gonna hold very well this putty does not this two-part epoxy putty does not adhere to cyanoacrylate that's been cured the cyanoacrylate is super glue commonly known as super glue anyways I'll do the rest of this Maybe hit that little line there. Give it a good scrubbing. Which basically sands it down to the rock. Gets rid of any excess that you don't want. What not. Then I take a toothbrush and some water. I wish I could find better scrubbing things, but uh, I haven't really looked. Doesn't look too bad. You'll notice when you darken the rock with the water, what you've done looks terrible, but it dries. So take my lab dust, press it in. Makes it look pretty bad, but in the end, it looks pretty good, or at least not too bad. Now it's got to cure for 24 hours. Now then, since the other one's curing, I'm going to work on this one. Where this crack goes through the fish. I'm going to do just a, I mean, just an ever so, the tiniest of the tiniest bit of acrylic work. There's the two color, the three colors, black, I forget what, and I forget what, burnt umber, I think. I think mixing those up in the right amounts with a little bit of water. Um, and also, you can see this, I'm sure it's uh, a magnesium, these like these din dried growth um, on the fish, so I'm going to try to match that where this goes where this crack goes through the fish just to help it out a little bit I don't think anyone's ever gonna notice but I'll know so maybe I'll sleep better at night and I've got my OptiVisor number 10 so I'm gonna be right on top of this fish so you won't be able to really see what I'm doing and there you have it um, this is far from perfect this repair patch job whatever you want to call it but it's a lot better than it was and thankfully I was able to take this piece of rock here off of here which really helped that spot anyways uh, I'm gonna take this camera off and see if I can show you some of this super fine detail this is really an exquisite fish uh, the detail is just mm, it's outstanding Okay, here goes nothing. I'll see if I can zoom in on this tail. Get a load of that. Super fine detail. And then up here, I mean just 
Just look at those little teeny tiny bones. It's just oh, super nice specimen. Just super nice. I mean, it's terrible that there's it came in three pieces each side, but just super nice. Tip was a little messed up there, but that's the way it goes. Anyways, uh, I'm going to frame that this summer and hang it on the wall. I really, really like this specimen.